Alright guys, what is up and welcome back to Gary's Mod. Now I initially wanted to do this awesome, badass, worm super NPC that someone actually suggested. Unfortunately, when I clicked on the link, it worked yesterday, but today, for some reason, it's been taken off the workshop, which is really sad because it looked like a really cool NPC pack or something. But today we'll be taking a look at the enhanced, new, and awesome... Half-Life 2 Combine NPCs. Now we've taken a look at a lot of Combine NPCs. Um, in fact, I probably have a playlist of it. If I don't, I should probably get one. But it's pretty cool because this one actually adds fairly advanced ones. And maybe even some that we've seen in some other packs. But this pack definitely stands on its own and that is why it has a video. So without further ado, let's get on to it. We're on this really cool Counter-Strike map. Without further ado, here we go. And in case you guys wanted to know why I picked this map, we got Pizza Hut, you know, Jabba the Hut, get it, Hut, two T's. We got some squirrels eating pizza, look at that, isn't that not beautiful? Picture's a little bit oversaturated, but we're gonna forget about that today. So you're gonna find all these NPCs in the Combine tab of the NPCs tab, and the first one we're gonna take a look at today is the Combine Arctic Soldier. Team. So, team, not soldier. Alright, the Combine Arctic's team, here we go. So this is pretty cool, so... Uh, let me just obviously get my health. So obviously they move because this is a noted map. That's why I actually chose this map. Uh, I just looked for noted and picked a random one. But this is the Arctic team and I made them all of their default weapons. He starts with the AR2, which is really strong. Uh, it's pretty cool because he has like this really nice Arctic camo. So it doesn't really add, it doesn't change too much about the obviously the Combine Soldier. He may be stronger than your default Elite or he may be as strong as the Elite, but he's pretty good. And, uh, is that, is that a custom blood effect? Just to validate this, and no, that was not an excuse to kill Odessa. Of course, I don't need one. I, I'll kill him any way I want, but yeah, that was an excuse to kill Odessa. But that's pretty cool. So one feature I didn't even realize is that the Combines do actually do have a custom blood texture when they die. Pretty nice. Next up are the com. Next up are the Combine Camo Soldiers. And this dude is unrelentless! Now I know the AR2 is really strong, but it's not that strong. So there's something with that soldier. I think he has maybe like increased attack or something. But of course you can see guys, he does have the camo. And it looks really cool actually. It, it's obviously easy to see them still, but it does add a cool little camouflage effect to just give you that deception if you think that you're seeing something. So we're going to kill him now. Very strong too! Holy crap, this dude is packing! That is insane! He has a lot of health! Did you guys just see that? Maybe it missed, but I'm pretty sure my crossbow went right through him or, or it missed. The funny thing is, is that even their dead body is invisible, so you might even sometimes lose his body if you kill him. But that's a really cool little twist on the Combine Soldiers, I think. Next up we have Combine Desert Patrol, which naturally have shotguns. And they have this cool little desert camo going on. It has like more of a, a more of an orangey dark brown tinge. Pretty cool, there's not really much to it, but it's just a nice little change on your Combine Soldier. Now we're gonna get into something really different. That was... I, I got annihilated. That is the Combine Guard. Which this guy has his own set of AI, his own weapon, and he is not to be messed with. Look at this dude. He is shooting balls of freaking energy. Literally balls. Throwing his balls at me. That is, that is happening right now. And he's not even Duke Nukem. But this dude is pretty good, honestly. He's a... Uh, looks like he's kind of hard to kill. But we're going to try our best right now. We're going to see. Can we kill this guy? We'll find out. Come on, man. I know your balls ain't that strong, or maybe they are, I don't even know. I mean, I've died to them, so maybe I should take my words back. But he's taking crossbows to the face. It's kind of safe to say this guy is enormously strong, something you definitely don't want to mess with or just completely avoid, but he is not invincible, as you can see right there. When he does die, though, of course, his body disappears for some weird reason that I don't really know why that actually happens, so. The Combine Neo Heavy. That is not an AR-2. Whatever gun he has, it is ugh, not an AR-2. I should not have messed with this guy. This guy means business, but so do we. You think you're strong? Show me what you got. You think you're Neo? Like you're freaking off of the Matrix? 
You can't stop time. The Matrix doesn't really stop time. It's just they well, well, actually, you know what? I've never even seen the Matrix movie, so you guys can tell me. But you're not Neo. That that's the point here. You can't choose between two different pills. You're some Dune armor. That that obviously kills people. But you killed an old man. That's messed up. Ugh. All right, I had to be my guy for a minute there. We good now. So if it wasn't really apparent before, yes, the Neo guards are extraordinarily strong. Look at that damage! Whatever gun he has, that is not the AR-2. Look at that. That's... Wait, I know that gun. We've taken a look at that, I believe, in the Combine Beta Weapons Pack. Or the Half-Life 2 Beta Weapons Pack, I should probably say. So next up, we have the Combine Ranger. Looks just like your standard. It almost looks kind of like the Arctic one, actually. Which is right here, but not as white. So not too interesting, more of a reskin. So we're gonna move on. Next up is the Combine Soldier, the Seven Hour War. This dude doesn't even look like a Combine Soldier. This guy looks like a straight up Marine. Look at this dude. He looks like a futuristic Marine or something. He's, he is definitely something that is scary, to be honest. I don't know what war that guy has been through, but I don't think I really wanna find out. We're gonna try it again, see if we can last longer. We're actually gonna use cover. Because this dude is super, 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 super enhanced. Definitely not to be messed with, but of course, he can die. So that's what he looks like up close. He actually looks really cool. You know what? If the combat soldiers look like this, I think I'd actually like them much more. This actually is a, like a, almost like a, I don't even know, like a, like a real military feel. Like, look, he has that giant ass knife back there. It's crazy. Here's the Combine Super Soldier, and he has a giant, fast ball of death that is trying to kill me. What's, what's with Combine and balls? I, I think there's a tread going on here. Regardless, though, we have to kill him, or at least try to kill him, but he's probably going to kill us first. And I'm not going to... I was going to say I'm not going to use the AR, but I, don't, I think I might have to. Here we go, round two. What's up, buddy? You didn't see me. I got the sneak attack approach. Unfortunately, it's not going to be enough because you have to shoot and move at all times, and it's kind of hard when this dude has balls of death that go really fast. Well, if you thought he was strong, well, there is a Combine Super Soldier Elite. Yeah, this dude, Super Soldier. Put them together, and you get this freak that is ready to destroy. I gotta admit, though, he, his gun doesn't seem as powerful. I mean, I guess it's more versatile, but that giant red ball of death, I think that one was actually more intense. Alas, I still died because I suck at this game, but that's besides the point. So pretty much he's just a stronger version, but he has a different weapon, so I don't know. Maybe it depends on who you ask. But guys, we come to... Not the last, the second last. The Combine Synth. I think we've taken a look at him in a Combine Beta NPC pack before, but this dude looks scary. I don't know what the heck a synth is, maybe, maybe it was supposed to be in the game, but it was removed. I'm pretty sure we've seen something like this in the beta pack, but I don't know if it was exactly this. This guy looks intense, but he can die. And now guys, the last, but certainly not least, we have the crab synth, and he is everything you are afraid of in Half-Life and more. Now I know the crab synth, or whatever this thing is, was meant to be in the games, but I don't think it looked like this. I'm pretty sure this is like a remodeled version or a reimagined version. Regardless, whoever did this NPC pack did a really good job. They're really diverse. This guy is, this is definitely the strongest creature. I mean, look at that. He shoots like mini lasers at you. And the only way to get around it is to pretty much lob grenades for the rest of your life or go on a suicide mission and try to kill him before he kills you. I'm gonna stay back and be a little coward because that's what I do best. I'm gonna try shooting him with explosives and see if that does anything for me. But I don't think it's going to. But I will die as much as I need to to kill this guy. All right, I got behind him. Oh, oh, I should have done that. I probably should have thrown an explosive. What is this dude made out of? Now the question is, can he even die? I believe he can, but I'm going to... I did it! He can die! Okay, cool. So explosives definitely do the job. But that's actually going to conclude this video, guys. I hope you did like it. I wanted to just do a nice little quick run through through all these awesome Combine NPCs. I really enjoyed these, and I know that some of these are kind of similar to other stuff we've done. Like, we've taken a look at Combine beta NPCs and stuff, and I'm pretty sure, a, like, a synth soldier that looked like that, maybe not the exact same thing, but it looked similar, was that. But this is honestly a pack that can definitely stand on its own. If you want kind of, like, new Combine soldiers to fight against, then, of course, you could definitely 
definitely rely on this pack. If you guys are wondering who these two are, the Neo Heavy and stuff, um, this is uh, something that's required when you have to use this pack, because I think it uses some of the models from this. I didn't show it off because they're, you know, not really anything too special, but I will put it in the description anyway. But that will end the video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to suggest something, which you totally should, because I'm running out of ideas and I'm becoming unoriginal, and I'm, I'm pretty much, like, struggling here. But if you want to help me and make this channel great again, I don't know if it was great before, but let's make it great regardless, hopefully, you can suggest something in the comments by leaving a suggestion down below or leaving a link and let me know what you want me to do, whether it's GTA 5 or Gmod or even another game maybe. I would definitely consider it. If you want to follow me on Facebook or Twitter, everything will be down below and of course all the links to every mod in this video will be in the description for you guys' convenience as well as all the mod creators. Thank you guys for making these amazing mods. So without further ado, that'll be the end of this video. Also check out Loot Crate. I'll have a Loot Crate video coming soon. If you want to get Loot Crate, there's a link down below in the description and you can use the code NECROSCRATE to get... I think it's 15% off or 10% off, I forget, but it's some kind of percent off. It's in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, farewell.